overall, did you get exactly what you were looking for from Matt Harvey this spring? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Once again, today, you know, he kind of struggled there a little bit in the first couple innings, even though uh, results wise from a couple it was a bloop double that Frazier hit in the first and then a, a bloop single that that knocked in the second run. Uh, he pounded the zone early in the count was ahead of almost every hitter. Thought a slider was better today. I didn't think his changeup was there, but he continued to battle, and his velo was good throughout the five innings. He got his pitch count up to him. Look, trying to find it here, somewhere around ninety. So five innings after two really long innings, the first two, and then three good innings after that. Done a nice job. Steve, go ahead. Brandon, apologize for a question that maybe was better for the pregame, but. Uh, do you have any concerns that Santander, with what's going on with him, will have to start on the injured list or, even if he doesn't, could miss some early games? I don't. I don't. Uh, he went through a, the full workout today. I'm just being cautious with him. And um, I think if it was, you know, I, I'm going to see how he feels tomorrow. And if he, if he feels like he did today, he'll probably be in the lineup tomorrow. Get some at bats. Uh, we also have a couple, you know, a, a workout day where we're going to have uh, pitchers throw, and so he's going to get some more at bats there before before opening day. So, um, like I said last night, I feel like he's physically ready to go. From his leg, his legs are underneath him. I don't need to see him play defense. Um, he's got enough at bats this spring. Now, just now, it's a little bit of getting him tuned up before we before opening day. Not have too long of a break. To, uh, so I need to get, like to get him a few more at bats, but um, yeah, I don't I don't have any concern with that at, at this point. Rich, go ahead. Uh, uh, Brandon, do you think you'll get down to twenty six by the end of the day tomorrow? Probably not. All right. Uh, oh, question from Joe. Joe, go ahead. Brandon, do you think you'll use tomorrow to rest some of the, the, the other regulars, or do you think tomorrow's a day that some of them need to play before opening day? I think you'll see a lot of the regulars play again. Freddie won't play the full game like he did today. Franco probably won't play the full game like he did today. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we still have a couple days before opening day. So um, getting these guys in some another back-to-back, -back, um, two or three at-bats probably for the majority of them. All right, that wraps it up for today. Thank you, Brendan. All right, thanks. All right, we can go ahead and get started. Rocky, you can lead it off. Matt, is this pretty much what you wanted to accomplish in your last start of the spring? Yeah, I think the you know the biggest thing is obviously finishing camp healthy, and and uh, you know now that obviously you've made the team, I think the last your last outing, you just want to kind of fine tune some things and really just attack people. I was a little uh, upset with the walks, but, you know, those are going to happen. And I feel like I, uh, you know, pounded the zone pretty well. I got ahead of guys and kind of let them back in on some at-bats that I'm, you know, not really that happy about. But uh, overall, I mean, when you can go five innings, feel pretty strong through, through all five. I think you, that's kind of when you know you're ready. Rich, go ahead. Matt. If they had told you at the beginning of spring training, not only you would have made the team, but you would be the number two starter, would you have been satisfied with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I really didn't know what to expect coming in. Um, and like I said, you know, over and over, I think, you know, each time I picked up a ball, each uh, bullpen and then each outing just got, got better and better and more comfortable, able to um, trust that and really, you know, just go out there and pitch. And, and um, you know, I, I think coming into camp, I didn't, uh, obviously knowing I had to make a team and, and um, you know, I needed to know I needed to work every single day and, and uh, get on board with what they were doing, which was pretty easy at the time because they, they, they were doing, you know, almost exactly what the guys up in New Jersey were, um, you know, showing me and having me do. So, that, that part made it pretty easy. And then, you know, my, my job was to go out and, and like I said, prepare for every start and stay healthy and, and 
you know, just, just try and get better and better each time. Steve, go ahead. Matt, as you said, when you started it, not quite sure knowing what all was going to unfold, what have been the keys to the last few weeks where things came together for you? And also, what are your thoughts on the game two start in Boston? Uh, I'm obviously extremely excited about uh, game two. I mean, uh, growing, up, growing up in Connecticut, it's not too far from home. So, you know, playing, playing in, uh, in that ballpark is, is something special. So I'm uh, obviously excited about that. And, and I think, you know, like I said, each time, um, really knowing, knowing the put the work in, in between starts and being able to go out there and really not, not trying to think about it and, and just attack and pitch and, and ultimately get guys out. I think, um, you know, like I said, a, a lot of times in the last couple of years, I wasn't really that satisfied or happy with how things went in between outings, but uh, bullpen wise, but you know, we, we did good work in between. We, that's when we really focused on nailing down the mechanics and, and what, what pitch shapes we wanted in certain counts and, and how to attack guys. And then, uh, you know, my job was to go out and trust that the, that work was there and, and that it was good. And then, you know, like I said, just go out and pitch. Nathan, go ahead. Matt, how do you feel about the team at large? What do you feel like you guys can kind of accomplish this year? Well, I mean, it's it's fun. It's just it. It seems like everybody's getting better and better. And you know, I know that with a young with a young team, it's it's um, you know, the more comfortable you get, the guys the guys' ability just comes out even more. Um, I'd like to say that I feel kind of feel like a young guy again. Obviously, having to make the make the team and be there right right there with them. Um, so it's it's fun. It's it's uh, it's exciting. It's going to be an exciting year. And you know, I think. Like I said, I said before, you know, we, we're not going to put the idea that we're in a rebuild or or young or whatnot. You know, our our job is every time to go out and win win a game and you know see what happens at the end of the year. Dan, go ahead. Matt, at least nationally speaking, it seems like you know this rotation is filled with a lot of unknowns or or, or question marks or whatever. But you've been down there and you kind of gotten to see these guys. How would you specifically, you know? kind of pinpoint what this rotation could be it's you know like I said it's exciting obviously seeing what uh everyone's done um you know the, the COVID rules obviously don't let us go on road trips and and see guys even at home so um obviously looking at the you're pretty much looking at the box scores and and asking them how they they felt or did the next day it's that's kind of what you're what you're going off of this year but um you know, everybody wants to win. We, our job is to, as starters, is to go as long as we can and keep runs off the board and, and you know, let our guys work in the field and and then uh, put up some runs, and that's how you win games. So we're, uh, I think, we're all excited about that for sure. Nathan, go ahead. Matt, just as a kind of quick follow-up to that, what are your impressions of, of Bruce Zimmerman just in talking with him? And, and uh, you know, what do you think about what he can bring to this team? Well, I mean, it's. I feel like every time I'm in the in the weight room or training room getting work done, he's he's right there, right there next to me. So it's um, it's fun to see his work uh, work ethic. He's he's in there every day. He's working hard. He's a strong kid, and um, you know, like I said, I haven't we haven't really been able to watch each other a whole lot, uh, you know, throughout the spring. But you know, just seeing the numbers that he's been putting up and and seeing how hard he works, it's it's uh, exciting. It'll be exciting to throw next to him. All right, Rich, you can go ahead. Hey, Rio, uh, how did it feel playing uh, second base today? Oh, good. Uh, just getting used to the angles, um, everything uh, that comes with that, and, you know, the shifts and all. Just getting adjusted to that. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I, I enjoyed it. Nathan, go ahead. Rio, how would you uh, evaluate your spring as a whole? I. Pretty solid. I, they, I I made a lot of hard contact. I made a lot of good adjustments throughout spring. Um, unfortunately, I missed that week uh, in the middle of spring, uh, but I was glad to get my legs back under me as quick as I did, and uh, you know, ready to go. Any other questions for Rio? All right. Looks like that's it. Thanks, Rio, for joining us.